anyway bruh i just wanted to show this part of the video and this is why we eradicate these pigs this is at a hill here on uh, the air force base um they just ruined all of that land right here and this is where hail is you see what that nice green part of the grass is to the left that's how this whole place used to look like beautiful nice we have one caretaker that takes care of it and so i'm setting a trap over here and hopefully we can uh hunt up all those pigs that is ruining these uh ruining the land <laughs> oh my God. too much fucking pigs right now so we're gonna set traps and we're gonna try and get some with the bowl tonight. Hopefully, there's too much of them. <laughs> so we're just gonna come out here. We're gonna, I'm gonna try and pull off one of my cameras and I'm gonna set it up on another trap. So we don't have to, we don't have to deal with that one tonight. We can just watch it on the camera. But as you guys can see, we're all over here. All of this shit is all dug in up by pigs. Too much, so much of them that come out here. So one night we was over here. Other night we was down on the bottom over there. Get out, man. Get allergies already. So all, for, so all for you hunters, if you guys don't have trail cams, Stealth Cams is really good. It's a self-service one. It's 20 bucks a month. Um, it sends pictures. It's night shoots, all kinds of stuff. It's actually really, really good. Um, so you can check up on the, the main spots, you know, if you're hunting in a certain area. You just got to watch out for those guys. They like to cockroach these kind of stuff. But um, these things are really good. Um, to keep an eye on the pigs, tells you what time they're coming out, what time they're leaving and all that so you can track them by this so you know when to come out to get them so i recommend you guys get some stealth cam um uh trail cams uh stealth cam maybe can sponsor no not good enough anyway but stealth cam all right Shut me fucking clans. Hey. Welcome back to another just boost some episode. So we are out here. Me and my son hey. and my friend behind the camera. <laughs> and um we're gonna set up this trap right here. We got this trap, we have another trap set up. My big trap is down right now. Um we just have too much pigs out here right now. Like way too much. So we got the peel out baits ready. I'm gonna drop them inside here, maybe like, maybe like an hour before the peacocks come out there. And you guys might have watched my older, older episodes of trapping. This is the same spot where we caught all that um, pigs. But hopefully we get action coming here. Um, two of the pigs that I have, it's gonna have to go to uh, this one family. Um, I guess they have a luau. I'm not too sure if they have a luau or they have something coming up and the husband went out and he went hunting and um he couldn't harvest any pigs so they reached out to me and let me know if i can get some pigs um i forget what date what it was i have it written down but there's a uh, i gotta catch a couple pigs and give them to them and then uh, they're gonna purge them and all that good stuff so i'm glad that they reached out you know sometimes you go hunting you know can harvest you know it's not called catching like i always say it's not called catching so you gotta go out there and just like we already been out here i've been out here four times already with my wife and my son um we've seen animals we've seen them there i just couldn't harvest any i ended up missing my shots as you guys watched the last last episode the two shots two pigs two misses it's actually four shots four pigs four misses <laughs> uh something was wrong with my rest hopefully we got it dialed in now but uh other than that we'll see what's up though we'll see what's going on um 
And then we get the, again, we have the second camera set up here above my son. And that's gonna let us know, so we don't have to focus on this trap alone itself. Um, we can just basically do whatever we like. We can go hunting, and then this um, camera's gonna notify us that if there's pigs around, or if pigs are in the trap. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we get something. Hopefully we get some pigs for the brother, the Ohana out there. Um, so, other than that, bro, our Gucci. <laughs> go get it, go get the bull. Go get the arrow. Throw some chips on the ground, man. Hurry up, you fuck up. Better hurry up. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh, putting. He's looking at you right now. Oh! <laughs> 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 So, we got some of these peacocks that came out here while we was dialing in for tonight. Three peacocks came in. My son took a shot on one. Oh, he took a shot on a couple. But, it's not weak enough. If it did poke on me, it would just be like a little tadly pokey. But I was right there just in case you, just in case you flew away with the arrow. I would have just slammed them with mine on. We got one. We shot one at 50. The last one, I think that one just in gray zone. Um, I kind of punched the trigger and down. I was a little, I was a little too excited, but. Did you get it? <laughs> Fuck. Wow, oh, I keep punching. I'm so excited to shoot. <laughs> like, well, we got a few feathers cut, came out of it. Well, yeah, I take it for grandma.
Hold on, we can take this for grandma. I went right past the click and when the thing went off, it kind of just skimmed the peacock and just cut his tail, partial of his tail. Um, well, we're about to pull up to our, our, our bigger traps and we're gonna try and bait them. But as you can tell, like there's still the peacocks are still all out. So eventually they're gonna start going into the inside the uh, trees, and then we can start baiting, dropping bait. And I know that back here is gonna have a whole bunch of pigs coming over here. So we got a camera up here on, on that tree where we put it earlier. Is it long? Oh, that just happened. No. Nothing. No. No. Only dreams, Brian, though. No. Fucking shut up and go sleep. It's fucking peak up. No, no. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just, we're just waiting for all the peacocks to go up in the trees, which they should be going up in the trees like any second now. And then we're going to bait this trap. And then we're gonna drop bait in another location. And then we're just gonna kinda like drive around, chill, and check where these fucking pigs are. Cause right now we're, we're so behind on these pigs right now. On the shutdown on this base is, is just letting them run wild. So right now, this year, we caught from here to the back, where you see, uh, other episodes we're on a dirt road. Up there is, uh, from here on up there, we caught 168 this year. And um, on the golf course, we got 28 on the golf course. Some of them, we, we had to eradicate some of the smaller ones, but you know, they still count. I just don't take pictures of the little ones, you know what I mean? Because people might say, oh, but you just slay the small ones, huh? Let them go, let them go. Nope, let them go, let them ruin the land. You know, but if you guys uh, you guys like the little pigs, bro, I can drop them off, you guys. Almost guarantee. So, yeah, we're about to go and bait this on the peacocks. Look, look like they all went up in the trees. They're giving their last fucking hoorah right now. Go and sleep, guys. Go and sleep. Yeah, yeah. 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 Pilau baits, bro. Like I said, if you guys didn't get you guys Pilau baits yet, bro, hit up the Instagram. Pilau baits, all the all the, the description down below. Get all the the link storm cars. Only if you guys could smell this thing. It smells like fucking I don't know, like shit, doodle, sewer, socks, everything. The peacocks, the peacocks. Look at this, like it's like it's um. It's like dessert for them, bro. So, all right, come here. You guys can actually see how 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 hard it is right now. Ew. Yeah, it's all like the fly. So you can see how hard it is. Like but raisins. what you can do is add more water and then stir them all up. Ew, but the corn has roots on it. I don't know why you're talking because it's gonna go on the recording. You like, I hate my voice. I sound like a hippo. Oh shut up. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah. Well, you put music over it. You okay? Oh, fuck it. Anyway. Ooh, that one. You can see all of that. Yeah. So, what we're doing here is kind of like you ever watched that movie ET. Yeah. You got to put the M&Ms down, and the ET kept eating the M&Ms. It's kind of the same way. 
They're gonna come over here. They're gonna eat here. They're gonna see the trigger. They're gonna see the corn back there. They're gonna eat up all that corn. They're gonna hit that stick. It's gonna drop this rope. This board here is gonna drop to the ground. And then, when you have some peas. But make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And, um, what's on? Oh, he like closed them already. All right, we'll see you guys a little bit later. Choo choo. All right, bro. At this point, bro, I lost audio. Yeah, you can, it's super soft, super minor, but there's a bunch of uh, cuts that we did that was fucking Mike went out on us. By this point, there's three pigs right there. So I took a shot at one of them. It was like 20 pounds. Um, about, I would say like 38 yards. We rounded off 40 yards. It's not the biggest pig I ever caught, but again, we're out here eradicating, so... And then my wife is brand new to the camera. Look at that, look at that pig bust in the electric boogaloo over there. Yes, yeah, so. All right. Okay. What's up, you fucking clowns? <laughs> Son. Anyway. The road mic that I had on my camera, as you guys probably heard it, it was staticky. It was, the quality was good. The quality of the video was good. Just the mic was just fucking trash. So I don't recommend it. So good thing I bring my extra mic is the other road. Um, but tonight, we end up pounding a pig. We end up pounding a peacock. And tonight was a successful eradication night. Um, shot the pig at about, I'll say rough estimate around 35 almost 40 um about and it's it's a boar and it's about um i'll say like 20 pounds uh, not not that big but it's a pig um we also got a we got a male uh peacock right there um so it was a it was a good successful i guess hunt eradication but the night's not over yet we still have the one, we have two traps that is still up right now. We have the one under the tree. We have one by the hail. And we was waiting for the bigger ones to come out, but the smaller ones was the one that came out first. So we, uh, like I said, we out here, we, we eradicating slash hunting them. And we have to, you know, take the shot because that's what we're here for. Um, so to me, I think it was a successful night so far but like i said it is 9 59 right now about to be 10 o'clock so i just want to talk a little bit about like how um if you guys never hunted before at night it's one of the hardest things to do it's super hard um winds are always changing it's and then the, the part of the hard part is if the pig is at like 40 yards say it's at 40 yards you know you can shoot that during the day, all day, every day. At night, it's just fucking, it's, it's so different at night. Because when you see the pig in that distance, you got to crack back, get those anchor points, get all your points all set up, look through the peep, but you can barely even see anything through the peep. And then you got to either have a light on your bow or have somebody flash the light on them. And then hopefully it's on point already, you know. You, obviously you range find them get 45 40 yards then you get ready for shoot then you tell the guy with the spotter okay shine the light shine the light and then boom it's it's a process but it's seconds of process so once that light goes on sometimes you get three seconds sometimes you get 10 seconds sometimes you get forever sometimes the pigs don't even run when the lights is on them so doing this stuff at hunting at night is it's good fun it's cooler it's a lot it's uh it's quiet um, this pig literally ran 10 yards um, this peacock ran two yards or two feet and just flip flop it um, we just let it we just let it expired and then I just put one more arrow through it just you know just in, in case and then the other peacocks that was just something else but I was like the bigger one I wanted the big one but when I shot it 
it just my release I kind of went I don't know I it was my fault though I wasn't set my pin was set on them and my release went off which was my fault twice it did that to me today and I think it's just because of the adrenaline I'm hype I'm ready to you know take the shot I'm ready to take the kill and not pink you know what I mean just letting the adrenaline take over me so well I think I had fun son you had fun yeah you tired no you shot the peacocks today how much peacocks you shot today huh like tree he shot tree but you hit him in the feet yeah that's okay next time boy you get one but um so like I said yeah we is out here and the night's still young uh, make sure you guys like sub share leave a comment down below follow Pilau baits on Instagram if you guys want that stinky bait bruh it works you bring it out um, it works every time you put it on I have friends I have people that already been using it and everybody's saying the same thing bro they're saying you stink it is stink but the pigs look at it like oh this is, this is like this, this dessert bruh it's time to grind you know so hopefully we can get a bunch of pigs that is up at the hill um, they end up ruining that whole place where I think I think you guys might have seen that video that partial already earlier when my wife was filming and my son was jumping around um, they dug all of that up that was beautiful grass um, so we have one trap there have a trap under the tree so if we don't see any more pigs tonight it's okay tonight was successful wasn't the biggest pig but it was action so I can say I had action you guys got action I got action you know what's up you fucking clowns welcome back bro. it is about to be 11 o'clock at night me and my son and the wife came out we hung up a 20 pound pig boar um one was it what kind of peacock was that female male i think it was a male one young young male never have big feathers but <clears throat> i think the peacock will weigh maybe like eight pounds i don't even know how much pounds that fucking i don't even care about peacocks anyway we out here eradicating um pigs peacocks in certain areas um we still have one trap set at the hill nothing in it we have the big trap out here that trap doesn't have nothing yet um so but we do have a camera so we might have um action early morning that um we'll be able to see if there's a pig in there um the hay owl one we don't have no camera set up over there um but i had fun you had fun son why you f face the camera cousin show me boogers <laughs> show me boogers <laughs> <laughs> who the biggest who, who's the best spider man Psh, you you more like peanut man <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's from the cage over there. But um, well, it's kind of a slow night to be honest. Um, we seen the bigger ones on the other side. On that's not on our property. On it's on the, the other side of the property. But seen a couple nice size ones over there. Tonight we never seen no big ones. That's actually the only three pigs we seen all night tonight. Um, we never really checked the golf course at all. Um, yeah, we never checked the golf course. We never actually went out there. Uh, we never looked. We only looked once or twice. Um, but I wanted the pigs back here because the last time I came here, there was like five big bastards out there. And I wanted to get them. But I guess it was a successful night. Not too bad, bruh. It's... We got, go at least we got action. We got some type of action. At least we never skunk out on the, the fit time. No, we came out, we came out three times. We, there was animals, we just didn't miss. Um, something was wrong with them, whatever bull. But make sure you guys like, subscribe, share. And bro, tell everybody all about it, bro. You know what I mean? Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. 
Also, follow Pilau Beats. If you guys are still interested in Pilau Beats, hit up Instagram, Pilau Beats. Follow all those links that is down below. Check them out, brothers. We got Scree Gear, um, one of my partnerships. Um, we got Pilau Beats down there. Got my Instagram. Um, let's go ahead and follow all those. There's a bunch of links down there. Well, check it out, guys. Um, I think the next... I don't know. I'm not too sure. I think the next video might be fishing. Um, I still got to go through a lot of my fishing gear and see what I need. I don't think I need anything. I think I'm good to go already. Um, I might go fishing sometime this week. Uh, I'm off this weekend, so I might go holo holo a little bit, you know, um, cast some lines out. Yes, sir. But um, anyway. It was a beautiful night tonight. At least we got action. We got some content. Everything was G. Got a pig. Got a peacock. Got my son. Got the wife. Now we get to go home. And uh, they get to go sleep while I edit this video. Anyway, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And you guys enjoy the rest of you guys' night. Or whenever you guys are watching these badass. Give them the shakas, Hawaiian. All right. Bang them. Give them the bang. Bang. Dogs on fresh tracks. Nothing just act. Gone like the wind, slip and slide in Pin to the tree, dog steady barking Yes, you know the deal, sake poo, boar hunting Stab the heart fast, brothers can roll fat Deep on the meat, then get on your feet Now we're packing till our knees get weak yeah, 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 yeah uh -huh. Big boy down in the home zone You know the deals, we pack them then so come Big boy down in the home zone Days me and the French and gun smoke come, smoke come, yeah. Big boy down in the jungle, you know the deals with that command so come, yes. Big boy down in the jungle, few more days me and the French and gun smoke come. Burn up this sense in making fire. Girl, I thought I told you I'm a poor hunter. Remember when was Pepe on 360? Up Mount Ka living life so freely. Mr. Money Man could never take this from me. This is strictly Hawaiian style. Feature Ohana, feature so too. This is what it means to provide some roots. Practice your culture, you understand now. What you teach the youths is what you leave down. Big boy down in the home zone. You know the deals with back on then so Come. Big boy down in the home zone Few more days me and the French and gun smoke come, smoke come yeah. Big boy down in the jungle You know the deals We pack a man so come yes. Big boy down in the jungle Few yes, more days me and the French and gun smoke yeah. come First things first, wake up, give thanks and praise yes, for protection, guidance for you on your way. Right. If you wanna hunt, it's a real life thing, not no N64 or a movie scene. Yes. So take care of your dogs, them man, take, take care of you. Me, I forgive your thanks to Kavena and Q right. for taking the animals, just what they do. The tips up on the Jordan man, yes. up on the scene, right? Big boy down in the home zone, you know the deals, we pack them then so come. Big boy down in the home zone Few more days me and the French and gun smoke come, smoke come yeah. Big boy down in the jungle You know the deals with that command so come yes. Big boy down in the jungle Few more days me and the French and gun smoke come Big boy down in the home zone You know the deals with that come then so come Big boy down in the home zone Few more days me and the French and gun smoke come, smoke come